All right, welcome back for another video about working with instances. In this one, you're going to learn a powerful new thing, which is you have lots of, let's say, monsters on the screen. And now I want to pick one of those monsters randomly to, uh, to do something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that monster move towards the player. Okay, when I hit the, when I hit the uh, R key for ran Oh, R is not good. So we'll do it for uh, P, pick a random monster. So let's get started on this one. So let's add an event here. Let's do a key press letter P for the player. And when we press P, we're going to pick a random monster. Now, here's the thing that you have to know before we start coding. I'll give you the little pseudo code here. So first of all, I'm going to find out how many monsters are on, are in the room. Okay, this will be our first step. Now, we already know how to do this one. I'll make a little variable called num, and I'll say instance number monster. Okay, find out how many monsters I have. Another thing we've also, uh, you've learned before is that if there's no monsters in the room, I should just probably get out of here. So I'll just do a little, little safety check here. I'll just say if the number of monsters is zero, exit out. Now you may say I didn't put the curly braces here. Remember, if you only have one line of code, you don't need to bother putting the curly braces around it. Okay, next, pick a monster number. Now this is the part that needs explanation. So when I give this a run here, I've added a little bonus code. I can hit the S key to stop the monsters. Okay, I stopped them. Now, what you're going to see here with the IDs being printed out is you'll see our million, one, two, three, four. Now, here's what GameMaker does when it keeps track of all these pieces. When I'm going to ask to pick a monster, there's going to be a script called instance find. And I'm going to say, find me monster number something. What you don't tell it is you don't tell it a million and one, a million and four. What we tell it, if we're looking for a specific monster, is which monster number. This is not the ID number of the instance. It's the monster number. And the way it works is this. This is the first monster. We know it's because it's got the lowest ID here. This is monster number zero. Now, why zero? A lot of programming languages start their counting at zero. So zero is the first monster. It's not one. So that's monster zero. This one would be monster one. This one would be monster two, monster three, monster four. It is unrelated to the ID. Even though in this example it looks related, it isn't. So I have five monsters on the screen. The bottom line is when you have five monsters, there's monster number zero, one, two, three, four. You do not have a monster number five here. So that's important to remember. Now let's go back and see how we're going to use this knowledge to pick our monsters. So now when we go to the player, Peaky, I do know the number of monsters. So let's just pretend right now, like in our example, there's five. I need to pick a monster number that I want to grab. So I need to pick a number. I'll call it pick. I random range. I want to pick a number between 0, because 0 is the first monster. And do not put 5 there, because you don't want 0 to 5. That would be 6, right, monsters? That would be monster 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you count that, it's 6 monsters, right? I'd like to put a 4 there. But I don't want to write 4 there, because I want this to work no matter how many monsters has been calculated here. So it's nice, simple math here. If there's five monsters, I put a four. If there's a hundred monsters, I put 99. So what I'm really doing is this number is always num minus one. So if you sort of work this through with five monsters, I'll pick a number between zero and five minus one, which is four. So zero to four. Perfect. Once I have that number, so I'll just put here, say, 0 to 4 for 5 monsters. What I do now is find that monster's 
ID. Having the ID of the monster is the only way you're going to be able to control it, right? Or tell it to do something. So what I'm going to do here is use a command that's on your cheat sheet. And on the cheat sheet, there's this nice command, the second one there, called instance find. You tell it an object type, and you tell it which number of that object. So is it ghost, or sorry, is it monster zero? Is it monster one? Is it monster two? Is it monster three? Is it monster four? It'll go find it and send you back the ID of that monster. Once you have the ID, then you're rolling, you can control it. So here's it in action. I'm going to say the mon for the monster is, hey, go find me the instance number four monster number pick. So remember, you've picked a number, let's say between zero and four. So let's say it picks two. It's going to go find monster number two, which is actually the third monster, right? Monster zero, monster one, monster two. And it's going to send you back its ID. So there it is. I'll actually, let's just change this. I'll say monster ID. Now that I have that monster ID, control it. So I said I was going to make this monster move towards me. So what I can do is something like this. I can say with monster ID, find the direction towards the player. Point direction. Remember, this is inside the monster code here. So the monster is going to say, hey, from my X and Y position, to the player's X and the player's Y position, find me the direction. It finds the direction D, and then I can do a nice simple set my direction to D, set my speed to 1, and off it goes, and it should be moving towards us. So let's see if this works. Um, remember the steps here. Find out how many you have. If you have none, get out of here. If you do have some, you continue on. Pick a good number that makes sense. So from 0 to num minus 1. Those are the good monster numbers. And then use instance find. Say, hey, go grab me monster number 2. Monster number 3, send you back the ID. Once you have the ID, control it with this ID. So with monster ID, find the direction to the player. And off you go. All right, let's see if this actually works. So this was code inside the P key. So let me stop the monsters and hit P. And it's randomly picking. It could pick the same monster twice, right? So every time you hit the P key, you may not actually see motion. But you can see it actually works, right? Hitting the P key does make them randomly pick one to move towards me. So success. This little routine here, okay, finding the number, the safety check, the picking a random number, grabbing the ID, very common, okay, if you want to be grabbing instances out of a list of objects that are in your room. So it's a very popular routine, and even though it may look like, well, I'm never going to use that, trust me, you probably will end up using it at some point to do some tasks that you want to do. These IDs, it's powerful stuff for a lot of different game types so enjoy that one we got another video about ideas again which is going to show you even uh, more stuff you can do with them but uh, have fun practicing